Hi, welcome to In the Studio. I'm Bonnie Shea, and today we have Linda Palaji Lynn visiting us from 3R Rescue, a wonderful dog rescue organization in Winters. Welcome, Linda. Nice Thank to you, see Bonnie. you. <laughs> it's great to be here. Wondering who this is that we have visiting us today. This is my little friend, K. Roo. And K. Roo came to us from a rural shelter in the Central Valley, like many of our dogs do, uh, except he was a little bit older. He was rescued when he was just a little puppy in the shelter. And he's a very special um, because he was born with um, some little defects in his front legs that don't enable him to walk too well. Okay. And so that's how he got the name K. Roo. Um, he was came to us uh, and was supposed to be put up for adoption and became such an inspiration for everybody at 3R Rescue that um, we decided that he would stay as our goodwill ambassador. Nice. So he looks a little bit like a kangaroo when he's down on the ground, right? Yes, he does. Yeah, his uh, front legs, he was born without a forearm, so it doesn't enable him to stand up like a normal dog. Mm -hmm. So he um, walks down, but he, he doesn't know there's anything wrong with him, and, and uh, he's, he's in great health and a happy boy. Perfectly happy in your household. He is. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. can you tell us more about 3R Rescue's story, what the three R's stand for? Sure. Um, the three R's stand for Rescue, Rehabilitation, and Rehoming mm -hmm. Animals in Need. Mm -hmm. And um, our program was founded about uh, almost five years ago now mm -hmm. um, in Winters, California. Um, my husband and I made the decision to start the rescue uh, after about 20 years of working with other rescues, taking many difficult dogs that... Um, didn't have a second chance unless they came to us and um, we were able to work out some behavioral issues and let the dogs de-stress on the ranch and realize that um, they could um, have a second chance at life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you ever imagine that this is what you would be doing in your life? <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. My husband and I have always loved animals and, and have always taken rescues. And, and um, uh, the, the ranch just seemed like the perfect place for dogs to be able to um, to come, and we're, we're happy to be able to do something like this. Uh, we're about 420 dogs in, in in a little over four years. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. so when you say ranch, what you have a big piece of property? Um, we have a piece of property in Winters that's a, a very old um, piece of property that um, has been there only two previous owners that we know of. And um, my husband and I have had horses and, and cows over the years. and, and um, it's just a real good, quiet place. It backs up to some various foothills and wonderful ranches around it. So it's it's a great it's a great environment. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering how dogs end up at at three R. How you find out about dogs that need to be rescued, and then you how do you decide which dogs to rescue and how many? Mm. Yeah. So that's a. Um, a seven day a week, 24 hour a day process. Mm -hmm. um, we were connected now with um, many networks of rescues and shelters throughout California. And uh, we get pleas daily um, for people who want us to take their dogs. We, um, my heart is with uh, the Central Valley shelters from Fresno down to Bakersfield. There are very rural shelters that have little or no support and uh, the kill rates at some of these shelters are 80 to 90 percent. Mm -hmm. So many of our dogs even come from the kill room there mm -hmm. and uh, we're very fortunate to have good volunteers with boots on the ground down there that help us to um, evaluate the dogs and see if the, we could do good by them in mm -hmm. our program. Mm -hmm. How many dogs you mentioned a number, maybe your total number, mm -hmm. but how, how do you decide how many dogs to rescue? Yeah, it, 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 again, it depends. Mm -hmm. um, as of this morning, um, we will be taking a litter of um, four puppies mm -hmm. from, uh, from the Lodi area that were left um, alone at, mm -hmm. overnight at a shelter. Mm -hmm. We also do wagon trains, and mm -hmm. we work with partner rescues um, from out of state. Mm -hmm. And those groups of dogs can be anywhere from 10 to 20 dogs, um, mm -hmm. and they're, they're evaluated um, in that way. So mm -hmm. the number per year... Um, it, it goes up and down, mm -hmm. and it depends on the need. We also just helped with the uh, Stockton herd, uh, herding, uh, hoarding case, excuse mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. where 105 dogs had to be pulled out of a home, and we took six dogs from that. Oh my goodness. Dog. So how many do you have at 3R right now? 
Uh, about 24. About mm -hmm. 24. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah. kind of a typical number? Yeah, we, we have fo uh, fosters that work with us. We have huh? UC Davis students, mm -hmm. and we have a couple of retired folks that foster for us. So uh, the, the number of dogs that we take uh, is directly proportional to the number of volunteers, which are critical huh? for the program. Okay. Do you focus on rescuing any particular breeds or types of dogs? We are not breed specific. We do small to medium sized dogs and some large dogs. Uh, we try to be very careful to um, evaluate each individual dog to make sure that they um, that we can do by, by right do right by them mm -hmm. in our program and so really it, it just depends on the individual dog and then if we can't take dogs we work with our network of partners mm -hmm. there are some breed specific rescues that can do a much better job than we could mm -hmm. so so any yeah. type of dog just depends on the need yeah like, yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so can you describe the process for us a little bit how do you determine the best fit between a dog mm -hmm. and a and a person who wants to adopt a dog or a family mm -hmm. that wants to adopt. Sure. Well, I, it's been said by a couple of our adopters that our adoption process is more difficult than buying a home. <laughs> Not intentionally. Um, our adoption application is uh, pretty um, thorough, and the reason for that is so that we can uh, work with you, the adopter, mm -hmm. to find out what your lifestyle is and what kind of dog you're looking for. Once you've filled out the adoption application, there may be a brief phone interview so we can talk to you about not just the dog you are interested in, but other possible dogs that um, might be available. Mm -hmm. Once that's complete, um, we set up the meet and greet. And that, that to me is one of the more critical and telling parts of the entire adoption process. Mm -hmm. We look at not only the connection between the humans and the dog, but we look at the dog's connection to the human. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that's very, very important to us. Uh, they say that a dog picks their people. We see this over and over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what and advice would you give someone who wants to adopt a rescued dog? Patience. It's about patience and time and being willing to learn. Uh, it's, you never know the background with a dog that's been rescued. We keep our dogs uh, as long as we can so that we can find out what we need to know about them. But um, being willing to learn and um, work with them is, is really important for success. Mm -hmm. yeah. What things does 3R Rescue do that you think are special or unique for a rescue organization? I think um, the most unique part of um, 3R Rescue is our rehabilitation process. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned uh, before, the way before adoption is the rehab piece. When a dog comes in to 3R, we already know a little bit about them, but you never see the entire um, personality in the shelter. Mm -hmm. So as soon as they get to 3R, they're evaluated. <laughs> Is that okay, Kay? <laughs> um, they're evaluated for medical, um, emotional, and dietary needs by um, our team. And then we're very, very fortunate to be surrounded by um, a, a great group of um, subject matter experts, such as veterinarians in fields um, like nutrition, uh, holistic medicine, surgery, um, even epidemiology that help us with our, um, our controls at, at the facility. And um, then they, each dog would have their own protocol developed. And uh, you know we may have as many as five to seven diets going at the same time, depending on that dog's needs. Uh, and the other critical piece to our program that I believe is a little bit different is Many of our dogs, a high percentage of our dogs, go to dog training. Mm -hmm. And we're very fortunate to have a trainer here uh, right in Davis, Casey Wallace, with Laughing Dogs Academy, who generously gives of her time. And our dogs go to school every week. Mm -hmm. Our UC Davis student volunteers write up the notes from those classes. And then it's brought back to the ranch, and the volunteers at the ranch follow through with those protocols. Mm -hmm. And then each dog is reevaluated um, each week. So um, that's how we really try to diligently uh, work with our dogs to get them ready for adoption. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the training is is unique. I've never heard of that before. Taking all of your dogs to training. Um, it can. We yeah. have our three R van, and there are nights that we load up as many as ten dogs to go, and we have three different classes that we might attend throughout the week. So it it really varies. Um, mm -hmm. The puppy classes get exciting. <laughs> yeah. So you mentioned volunteers. Mm -hmm. You have your 
almost entirely a volunteer run organization? We are, uh -huh. we are. And so our volunteer team is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, it's a real cross section of people. We have, uh, of course, I've mentioned the UC Davis students that are animal behavior, animal science, pre-vet. But we also work with our local high schools. We have students doing their capstone projects or mm -hmm. special projects. We have retired professionals that work with us. And uh, in the last two years, we have some disabled veterans that um, work with us, and mm -hmm. I'm very proud of that. Mm -hmm. So it really takes a large volunteer force to make it happen. You never have enough volunteers, and when people yeah. ask, is there anything I can do, there's always something. I will put you to work. Uh -huh. <laughs> there's anyway. always something you can do, and mm -hmm. people can find out more about that on our website or call us. We, mm -hmm. We'd be happy to talk to you about volunteering. So related to things that people can do, I know that you have a fundraising event coming soon called Paws at the Park. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. We're really excited about it. Um, it's our first gala that mm -hmm. we will have hosted by um, the owners of Park Winters. Mm -hmm. It will be um, champagne registration while you look at the silent auction items available, uh, preceded by an amazing sit-down dinner by the executive chefs at Park Winters mm -hmm. and dessert um, provided generously provided by Freeport Bakery. And then, of course, the all-important um, live auction with uh, trips to Italy available and other places like that. Uh -huh. This is our, our uh, we're really excited about this because this will enable us to not only sustain our programs, mm -hmm. but possibly expand mm -hmm. our programs into other areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that event is coming up on November 5th, and there's yes. information on your, on your website about it. Um, yes. So in addition to donating, is there anything else that people can mm -hmm. do to help 3R rescue? Yeah, spread the word. And I, and I have to say that, um, you know, there's three components um, of just about any nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. Kira's checking out. <laughs> There we go, babe. Uh, you know, the donations um, that we always critically mm -hmm. need, but the adopters, um, we have some amazing success stories in that our adopters become volunteers and they become donors. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the volunteers become adopters and it becomes an amazing family. And mm -hmm. so I, I think um, whatever you choose to do to help us, it's uh -huh. welcome. And I believe you have a, a wish list on your on your website. We do of items we, you'd like to have donated there and on Amazon Smile. We're an Amazon mm -hmm. Smile member, so uh -huh. if you go on Amazon, yeah, uh -huh. we get a donation there as well. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, to wrap things up, uh, could you share with us perhaps another heartwarming story <laughs> like? This one about Kru. Yeah, we have a story from uh, a couple years ago, where uh, we were going on transport down to the Central Valley, and we were slated to take seven dogs. Mm -hmm. And that evening, I saw a plea come out um, for a litter of seven puppies. Mm -hmm. And so I said, no, we can't do any more. And we, uh, the next morning at 5 a.m., the plea was still out there. So I asked my husband if we could take more. And he said, sure, what's one more? And mm -hmm. I said, what about seven, <laughs> seven more? Uh -huh. And he said, absolutely, uh -huh. seven pups. Uh -huh. And um, they all survived and all got amazing homes. Wonderful. Yeah. So many terrific stories. And I know you have more successful stories on your website. As we well. do. Yes, we so do. People can look there to hear yeah. some more wonderful stories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I want to point people to the Three R Rescue website, where where you can find the stories, you can find the wish list, you can find more information mm -hmm. about the uh, fundraising event that's coming up on November fifth. Right. And, and we had um, photos. And, f oh. and we have photos. <laughs> we forgot we had a few photos <laughs> we could show of more puppy dogs. That's OK. Yeah. So that photo mm -hmm. is a, a pair of Border Collies that came to us that were a little bit older guys, uh, uh -huh. Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> And that's Pelos. Pelos is a real special case. He's a 10-year-old Chihuahua that didn't know he was 10. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming today, Linda, and thank you for all the amazing work, <laughs> work that you do. It's been yeah. a pleasure hearing more about 3R Rescue. And anyone interested in knowing more or interested in adopting from 3R Rescue is welcome to look at the website or, or give you a call. Yes, absolutely. Yes, wonderful. 
And with that, we conclude in the studio. I'm Bonnie Shea, and I thank you so much for joining us today.